All right, we're moving right along into Mark Martin's availability. So if you, um, if you guys can give me your attention and Mark's attention, that'd be great. Mark, a big race on Sunday, season finale. I know you have talked, you and Jimmy both have talked so much already about what's going to happen or what could happen, but what uh, is your sense this morning as you get ready to get in the car? Well, I'm just, uh, I, I really like this racetrack. Um, I love this championship weekend uh, that they've uh, built here uh, through the years. Um, it's a real exciting uh, weekend, and uh, I can't wait to get to work with my guys. Uh, feels really good to be here at the track uh, with my team, and uh, it's a, I like the racetrack. It's a fun racetrack. I can't wait uh, for the challenge. Sounds good. Let's start over here on this side with Mike Harris. Mike Harris from RacingToday.com. Hi, Mark. Uh, just we go back a few years and when Matt won his championship in 2004 there was a lot of complaints that things had gotten boring and it was a runaway and now uh, unless something happens on, on Sunday that's uh, you know going to be a big surprise I think Jimmy's going to wrap up four in a row you're going to try to make that not happen obviously but is there anything to that can be done to make things more competitive than what's happening right now with the current chase format? Well, it doesn't matter what you do, there are going to be, uh, it doesn't matter what you do, over the course of time there are going to be runaways and there are going to be uh, thrillers, whether it's points or just a racetrack. Uh, same thing with a racetrack. You know, one race will be a runaway and, uh, and then you'll have a bunch that are okay, maybe good, but okay, and then every once in a while you'll have a a thriller. That's just how it works. It doesn't matter what the track shape is or what the system is. It's going to happen. Other questions for Mark? Bob Parkers has one. Uh, Bob Parkers, NASCAR scene. Um, although Roush Fenway hasn't announced it officially yet, uh, Jimmy Fennig, we kind of expect, may not be back as David Reagan's crew chief next year. Obviously, you worked with him for a long time. If this is his last race as a cup crew chief, what, what do you want to say about him? Well, uh, I'm actually really happy for Jimmy. Uh, I think that um, in some ways, you know, Jimmy is, uh, is ready to uh, cut back a little bit from the, the role and you know, all the pressures of the role uh, that he has. I, 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 I can't announce what it is exactly that he'll be doing, but I have a picture in my mind of what's in store for Jimmy, and I think that he will be very, very happy. Uh, you know, my expectation is that he'll be happier than he is now uh, moving forward, you know, uh, with his new role. Um, that's my expectations. I'm not inside the group over there, but um, I I, I think I know how things are going to play out and what he's going to be, you know, kind of what he's going to be doing in a sense. And my expectation is that he will be happier than he is now. And, um, you know, there comes that time when, um, you know, you have to make a shift in, in what you do, much like I did in 2007. Um, catch your breath. We'll go Newt and then Liz, and if you, uh, if everyone will please raise your hand and help our uh, our good microphone handlers find you. Thank you. David Newton, ESPN.com. This apparently is the only track that Rick hasn't won at. Do you, do you find that hard to believe? And, and how much do you, does that drive the organization uh, to try to, to get that this weekend? Well, it's just a little bitty bit, you know. I mean, because we want to win every weekend, so how could we want to win that much worse here? Just a little bit worse, uh, but not. You know, it, it's just, it's a small thing, but it is there. Uh, well, yes and no. I mean, um, as I was exp uh, explaining to Mike, kind of the same kind of logic applies to this as well. Sometimes it just you don't you know your number just doesn't turn up on the card, you know, um, and uh, Biffle, uh, you know, has had a, a, a very good handle on this place, and Tony Stewart, and uh, 
you know, there weren't a lot of wins to be passed around because of uh, of some of the guys that that uh, really hit this place right. And uh, there's no reason why we can't win this weekend. One of our cars can't win just because we haven't before. I mean, I have no concerns whatsoever about the performance of my race car. Uh, I'd be, you know, I'm very comfortable that what we've been doing is going to work just as well here as other places.